Hi! So, I'm currently on Zoom for a summer class, but I'm getting a little bored, so I thought I'd make a little tutorial on how to bleach your eyebrows. Um, here's some things you need. I have this L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach Packet. The developer I use, sorry there's hair dye on it. Um, I use 20 volume because I don't need something stronger since my eyebrows are already bleached, I'm just touching it up. But this one is sensitive scalp, which I like uh, because I'm putting it on my face and I have sensitive skin, so I think this is a little more gentle. I use this little plastic cup. I just reused this one. We got a little pack of these. I think this is silicone um, mascara ones. It's Vaseline to protect your skin. Q-tip. A little bit of plastic wrap. And, of course, Le Omera. I keep checking my zoom to make sure I'm muted. <laughs> you, you need a lot less than you think. And then I just do a little one-to-one -one ratio. So it looks like this. When I scoop it, it stays on the spoolie, which is good because you don't want it dripping into your eyes. Wait. First things first, clip your hair out of the way and then get your little Vaseline. The Vaseline creates a little barrier, um, like I put it on my eyelids so it keeps it from possibly getting on my eyelashes and into my eye. You don't want the bleach getting in your eyes. It's really not worth it. I'd rather do the extra work to just make sure it's a little bit safer. So I have Vaseline all over the outside of my eyebrows. Okay, now I'm just cutting a little piece of plastic wrap that's the size of around my eyebrow, like that. So I I just press the plastic wrap right here and then I just let the I just let it drape over my eye. So this is just extra protection. Um so the bleach doesn't get in my eye. And I brush this through my eyebrow hair and I also back comb my eyebrows to make sure it gets into all the little crevices. And after I get basically all of my eyebrow covered in bleach, I just glop on an extra layer on the top. I push the plastic wrap in to the eyebrow and this will all sink into all the little roots of the hairs because I don't want to miss the roots and have little little patches of black peeking out so I just kind of mush it. The saran wrap not only protects your eye but it also helps your eyebrows bleach because bleach is effective when it's actually wet. Usually I wait like 20 to 30 minutes uh, depending on what I see because you can <laughs> you can see the hairs through the plastic wrap peeking out from the bleach. Bleach your eyebrows at your own risk. Okay. But know that I'm trying to teach you how to do it as safe as possible. Also, beware of the torment you may receive from your family. May or may not know that from personal experience. <laughs> I should set a timer. I can never get 20 minutes. <laughs> you guys, you didn't tell me I looked so funny. <laughs> what I have handy right now is a pack of baby wipes. I think this is the best way to take off the excess bleach uh, because if you, or you could just use a dry napkin. To me, this cleanses your skin to take off 
any residual chemicals um, without being soaking wet because if you use a wet napkin the water might drip into your eyes and mix with the bleach and do one clean sweep and I press pretty hard on my skin to make sure it gets everything off. Oop. Okay. This is what they look like. <laughs> Since my skin was sitting under bleach for a while, the, it is a little irritated. The Vaseline definitely helps, but what I do to just calm my skin down a little bit, I use this aloe vera jelly by the brand Lily of the Desert. I like this one because it's 99% aloe vera. Now, should I do my makeup? Why not? Okay, this is now a makeup video. This is the primer I've been using. This is ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I use the Fit Me Loose Powder. To get my eyebrows a little more defined, especially when it's freshly bleached, I use this, you could use any eyelash primer, but this is just the Essence one because it's really cheap. Uh oh, my class is back. Okay. <laughs> I use a little spoolie to break up any clumps looks so fresh. <laughs> this is Milani's eyeshadow primer. This is a Wet n Wild bronzer and Sunset Strip Tease. <laughs> and I'm going to take a little stippling brush and bronze up my face a little bit. So I've been contemplating for a while whether or not I want to go full glam right now, but I feel like I just need to take advantage of this fresh bleached brow, so I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> and I'm using this Be Bella palette from a local Sacramento beauty store called Pinky Rose. <laughs> and it's just like a lot of earthy green tones. Um, so since my shirt is green, I'm just gonna go with it and do a whole green look. I need some neon green in here to match my shirt, so I'm taking this Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette and taking this neon green color right here. I'm about to run out of storage on my camera, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for hanging out with me while I replaced my eyebrows and did my makeup during my summer school class. See you next time! <laughs>